David Hume pointed out that we do not see causation because causation is actually invisible. Causation is an inference and a perceptual construction based on assumptions about how successions of events are linked together in time. This point applies equally well to the kind of causation that we attribute to our own actions. Dan Wegner pointed out that we usually assume that our conscious feeling of willing or intending something to come to pass is the cause of that thing coming to pass if our consciously willing that event to happen precedes its happening and no other obvious alternative explanations lie in sight. But in this course, we've discussed the idea that the rooster's crowing does not cause the sun to rise even though it precedes it because both are actually driven by a hidden variable, namely, the rotation of the earth causes dawn, which causes the rooster to crow, and the rotation of the earth also leads to the later apparent rising of the sun above the horizon. Wegner argues that mental causation is also like this. Consciously willing event X to happen may appear to cause X to happen, but it's only apparent mental causation. According to Wegner, what's really going on is that a hidden variable, in this case, preceding unconscious computations, cause both the conscious experience of willing in action and then also cause the later occurrence of that action. But like Libet, he concludes that the conscious feeling of willing does not cause our actions. The majority of Wegener's evidence for his theory of apparent mental causation comes from studies where people subjectively experienced that they were the cause of an event when they in fact were not. One example involves the game I Spy. In this study by Wegener and Wheatley in 1999, two subjects jointly moved a shared cursor around various images of objects. One of these subjects was actually an accomplice of the experimenters. There were two kinds of trials, one where the accomplice let the subject put the cursor where she wanted to, and another where the accomplice made sure to put the cursor on an object dictated by the experimenters. In addition, subjects heard words as they did this task. Once the cursor stopped, the participants had to rate how in control they felt of the placement of the cursor from, I allowed the stop to happen, meaning I was not in control of its placement, all the way to, I intended to stop on this object, meaning I was in full control of its placement. The key finding is that if subjects heard the word corresponding to the object where the cursor would land within a few seconds, in cases where the accomplice was in fact in full control of its final placement, subjects nonetheless had the illusory feeling of willing that they were at least somewhat in control of its final placement. Subjects are asked whether they believe that they in part cause an action which they did not cause at all, and they say yes, they were in partial control of its placement, if they were primed by the name of the selected object. Wegener says this happens because the word made them think of that object prior to the cursor landing on it, so they feel that that thought led them to place the cursor there. This then counts as an illusion of will. One believes one caused something when one, in fact, did not. But just as the existence of visual illusions does not prove that all vision is an illusion, the existence of various illusions of willing does not prove that all willing is an illusion. In particular, Wegener's data suggests that people can have mistaken beliefs about their wills. But a belief about one's will is not the same as that which wills or intends to act. A belief about X is not X. An incorrect belief about one's causal powers does not mean that one lacks causal powers. Just because I mistakenly believe that I can throw a ball all the way to the moon does not imply that I cannot throw a ball at all. People might have an efficacious will where their intentions affect future events even when they make incorrect attributions about their will, for example, believing that they caused something when they did not.